The reason I like this play is because this is one of the fastest crossing routes in the game, and it just gets wide open over the top of man and zone coverages alike for very easy one-play touchdowns. And this is pretty universal as we have inside leverage to start to play once again, so the cornerback can't really keep up once he cuts across the field for a very easy one-play touchdown against his defense. This is part of the glitch of this formation is the receiver being so close to the line of scrimmage will give him an inside release on the cornerback against a lot of different defenses, allowing him to get wide open for another one-play touchdown once again across the field. For the fastest, cheapest, and most reliable coins in the market with a no-band guarantee delivery, check out my coin sponsor, MOXP.com, and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff with the Mad Cheese, as always. Got a brand new offense out of a brand new ebook from the Tennessee Titans that I just put out. I'm going to show you guys a full breakdown of an offensive formation that I've already touched on in other playbooks that I put out, like the Packers and I think the Jets also have it. And that formation is the strong close, but I'll have every playbook that this is in popping up on screen, even though every you know particular playbook is different. The one I'm focusing on today is the Titans, and that's because it has one of my favorite plays in the PA deep, as well as a lot of one play touchdowns like the PA scissors, and you know a lot of really good run plays, as this is just a really good formation in general. But before I do, as always, if you guys want more help or more money plays, you can download these or any of my eBooks instantly simply by clicking links in the description or the top pin comment. And if you wanna see more full breakdown videos like this. I try to do one at least once a week, typically on the weekend, like a Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, and let me know in the comment section as it really helps out the video and the channel. The most important receiver position is going to be this spot here. This is going to be responsible for the majority of the one play touchdowns. So just make sure to have your fastest or your best receiver in this spot. I'm going to start off with some run plays as there are a lot of really good run plays in this formation, starting with the halfback off tackle. Now I like running out of the stretch run more from the eye form close because you can go either way. Where this one here, you can really treat this play like a stretch or like an inside zone so I could really cut this outside like I did here or I could cut it inside if that's where the lane's going to be so you can see right here they're a little bit more spread loose I mean you can see the fact that the, you know that guy lead blocks me to the point where I had a guy chase me in the backside where I had to go outside but I will show you guys eventually an opportunity to try to cut it inside as you can see I'm just getting much better blocking to the edge of that receiver Calvin Ridley there totally failed me as I probably could have went up inside and followed the fullback he did a really good job there but like I said I'm trying to force it inside because I want to show you guys that this does have opportunity inside as much as outside it's not just an outside run you can really cut this short just as long as you uh, have a hole which i'm not really getting but i'm gonna show you guys an inside run anyway so this is definitely your best outside run where the best inside run is typically just going to be your dive. So I'll go ahead and pick that again. This play here, like I said, if you have a spread defensive alignment like right here, we have a lot of spread, uh, you know, it looks like a 4-3 wide. So if it's spread like this, I can just switch to the inside run and have a decent inside run. I'm not expecting to get home runs here or huge run plays as I'm really just looking for uh, opportunities up the middle. This is really just to keep your opponent honest so they don't spend too much time spraying the defensive line to try to stop the outside run as this can be a very good run play to the inside as well. Now, there are two more uh, really good run plays that I want to show you guys out of the same concept where we have the halfback uh, slash fake end around and the end around itself, which I see a lot of people running. Let's go and let's pick the slash fake end around first. This here really is better against uh, users as you'll get like a fake uh, where the user might chase that and then you have an opportunity running up in the inside. Uh, but the computer is not going to make that mistake. Typically, you might see that mistake made by an over aggressive user, but you can see this is just a decent run play that's going to be more beneficial against a live opponent. And then I actually see a lot of people running this end around uh, in gameplay. So let's go and let's pick that. This is something where, once again, you have your fastest receiver in this spot. You will have opportunities to take this wide for a big run play that actually has a lot of success against men or zone defenses. So this is not something I find this play to be a bit risky, but you can see that that defensive end goes so far inside that this is actually a really good run play to the point where I got a house call on my second time running it. So definitely a well-designed play that kind of glitches out the defensive ends. If you watch this play here, it looks like this guy should be able to handle this edge as he doesn't even get blocked. But for whatever reason, he goes too far inside before suctioning into a block anyway. And then you can see we just have a very big play to the outside that eventually ends in a touchdown run from the fastest receiver that I have on the field. Go ahead and do that one more time. Like I said, this here, you start off really low and the defensive end just does not do a very good job of picking that up. So this can be a very explosive run play, probably the most explosive run play in the entire formation as far as the four plays that I showed you guys. 
So that's it for the run plays. I'm going to show you guys some uh, dink and dunk pass plays. And I'm going to show you guys some one play touchdowns like I typically do, starting with the wide receiver out. So let's go and let's pick that. The wide receiver out is really all about this corner route here, or this speed out route. They really can get open against just about any man or zone except for cover two. And when I say that, I mean cover two zones. So like right here, we have, we actually got a cover two randomly as I was talking about it, where you can see the cornerback's about five yards off. He's going to sit on this. He just kind of goes right to that area. So you can't really throw it against cover two zone. But any other defense, you can. So any man cover like this here looks kind of like a man cover one he's going to get outside of that whether it's a big run like right there i actually got an outer reach for whatever reason but i could have bulleted that in here looks like another cover two although it's not it might be like a cover three or something you see he fights back for that ball I'm not really sure what that was but it looked like a cover two at the start but ultimately any play right here it looks like a cover zero maybe maybe a cover one you can see how you can get outside of that i'm not getting good i'm not getting good accuracy because i'm throwing with like one of the worst quarterbacks in the game uh, in Levis, who's only like a 70 overall right now. So that might be an issue with some of these pass plays. But you can see how that gets outside just about every single time. The tight end can be very glitchy against man coverages, though. So let's go ahead and let's pick that. And then I'll try to match uh, with cover one on the other side. So let's, go let's pick cover one hole. The tight end is something that you can move across and put the X receiver on a streak. And the A tight end can do a very good job of getting open outside of man coverages, especially if you have a fast tight end like we have in Tennessee. So just keep that in mind. That's a very good man beating route. Against cover zero, this has the potential to be a catcher and one play touchdown. So let's go and let's pick cover, or let's pick uh, the OLB fire man. So making that same motion, like I said, we'll just streak the X receiver. Although realistically, I think it's better probably to put him on a slant just to get him out of the way. I don't want his defender to be waiting. And you can see how this tight end can be a very big play as long as I get a catch and run. I mean, that was like a jumping animation. That's not going to work out. Next up, I'm going to start off with some one play touchdown, starting with a single use play in the double post, which really only works against man zero. So let's go and let's pick that. For this play, you're going to need more blocking so check and release the running back and putting the tight end on a check and release drag is probably the best way to go then slant the b route because he doesn't work as well as the x route does but you can see how once this x route cuts inside that he's going to be a very easy one play touchdown right over the middle against cover zero there's another single use one play touchdown in this formation called the pa post dig which looks a lot like the end around and the halfback slash fake around by design and that's because it's a single use one play touchdown against defense is like cover four match so let's go and let's pick that this play right here you don't have to do anything but i would cancel the play action with the right trigger as soon as possible and that's because it could cost you in blocking but if you're running from a hash mark to the short side of the field you can see how easy of a one play touchdown this is to deandre hopkins the much slower receiver as he crosses the field just run from a hash mark to the short side of the field and you'll get a one-on-one -on -one with the safety and the safety can't typically keep up as you can see the cornerback's trying to help out but this is just an easy one play touchdown against his zone defense with no adjustments at all and you have to run it from that hash mark because if you don't the cornerback will cover and the cornerback's gonna be a much better option but you can see how you can still beat the cornerback the same way as the safety it's just not going to be as easy as cornerbacks are typically better in coverage and you can see right here now on the replay, the cornerback's covering, which is going to be a much more difficult assignment for the receiver, especially if he's only 89 speed like DeAndre Hopkins, but I still get a very easy one play touchdown regardless. Now, it only leaves two plays, but they're the most explosive plays in the formation, the PA scissors and the PA deep. I don't know which one's my favorite. They're both very good in a lot of different ways. So I'm just going to start off with the PA scissors, and I'll save the PA deep for last because that's probably the most unique. But this play has a lot of different options. So we're going to start off with Tampa 2. This play can be a one-play touchdown against Tampa 2 in a multitude of ways. I can put the X receiver on a 10-yard out route, put the A receiver on a streak, and you're going to see how the B receiver will get open right up the middle as long as you get a good throw, which might be difficult because of the quarterback that I'm using. Now, it doesn't really matter because I could motion this guy out and put him on a 10-yard out route, and that will just pull the safety even more. Let's go and let's try this one more time. Hopefully, I get a little bit of a better throw. You can see that the linebacker tried to get back there as I threw it a little bit early, and you will get that, but it won't be enough. So, I think leaving the X receiver in at a 10 yard depth like this and not motioning him out will be better as far as holding that linebacker. As you can see, he doesn't react as quickly this time, maybe because that 10 yard out is in the area. But the safety was there and he kept me from the uh, the two yards that I need. So you have that option. I'm going to do that one more time. Like I said, I do want to actually score with that. You can put the RB route on a wheel as well and you can have success with that over the top of the cornerback. As you can see now, the safety is nowhere to be found, but now the, the linebacker is there. So we're getting stopped a few yards short but that might not be the best version of this play anyway as the best version might be to motion this guy across and put the x receiver on a streak and now i have um a, a route to the outside i can put the a receiver on a, on a uh a drag as well to try to help to pull that cornerback down but it's not really necessary as you can see right here he gets open outside of that and we finally get that catch and run one play touchdown a lot easier this time with no opposition 
Now I'm going to stick with some zone coverages before I get to man coverages, going to cover three next. Against cover three, you got a couple different options. The fullback is one of them. That route will get open. I mean, I'd probably want to put a faster running back there, but that route will get open against just about anything. But you can also motion across the B receiver, and if you're running from a hash mark like I am here, you should be able to put the X receiver on a streak and get this B receiver open as long as you get a good throw to the sideline, which I don't think my quarterback has good enough accuracy to do. But that is an option. The better option is to put the A receiver on a streak motion out this X receiver and put him on a comeback route and then you'll have a really good uh, won't play touchdown opportunity to the B receiver now the fullback is going to be the only thing that really um, is a check down on a play like this but you can see how if I would have held that just a little bit longer I could have easy one play touchdown this also has a lot of success against things like cover four match so let's go and let's pick that this is pretty much going to work the same setup as cover two we're just going to put the A tight end on a streak we're going to put the X receiver on a 10 yard out route and because of the formation being so close the b receiver will typically get a head start and be able to run right past the cornerback inside for a very easy one play touchdown as the streak pulls back to safety this is part of the glitch of this formation is the receiver being so close to the line of scrimmage will give him a inside release on the cornerback against a lot of different defenses allowing him to get wide open for another one play touchdown once again across the field and last but not least as far as zone coverage is concerned it also does cover four drops so let's pick that against cover four just put the x receiver on a curl and the a tight end on streak and they will do everything you need to manipulate the coverages so that the post route can get across the field for a very easy one play touchdown against cover four as long as you run from a hash mark to the short side of the field like i am here this is one of the hardest defenses that won't play touchdown in the game as you have four deep coverages but one of them disappears because of the adjustment i made to make this a very easy one play touchdown outside against this defense that's it for zone coverages for this particular play but there's a lot of use against man coverages so let's go and let's start off with the overstorm brave and cover zero the b receiver here gets inside leverage from the formation so he's going to get open just about every single time and it's pretty quick too so that's a very easy one play touchdown against cover zero with no adjustments at all but the route that the tight ends running is pretty good as well if you put the b receiver on a curl especially you don't have to as he can still get open but you can see how this really helps for whatever reason as he gets wide open on the very next play but for whatever reason this receiver on a curl does a good job to set a pick on multiple defenders and allows this receiver to just get wide open for an easy one play touchdown against his defense that route can also have success against cover one hole so let's go and let's pick that against cover one you got a couple different options if you run it from a hash mark like i am here all you gotta do is put the a receiver on a streak i'll give myself a check down slant with the x route but the a receiver will pull back the safety and since i have inside leverage against all man coverages you can see how this guy can get across the field very easily for another easy one play touchdown and this is pretty universal as we have inside leverage to start to play once again so the cornerback can't really keep up once he cuts across the field for a very easy one play touchdown against his defense i also put a backup running back at the fullback position so i can put him on a wheel and if i run it from a hash mark to the short side of the field like this i find that i get the most favorable reactions as he can turn up field for a very big play as well as long as he doesn't get caught from behind and i also find that the tight end is a very good man beater as well as you can see the man defenders there really got caught up on one another allowing me to almost get a one play touchdown to the other side of the field once again as this is very consistent but it's not guaranteed so let's go and let's do this one more time you can see once again i guess that's a linebacker in coverage i'm not really sure but he's having no success whether that's a linebacker or a safety or what he's having no success covering this tight end it's a very good man beating route also can have a lot of success against cover two man so let's go and let's pick that against cover two man pretty much the same setup as cover two zone 10 yard out route on the x receiver streak the a receiver if you motion out this guy i find it works best but it really isn't necessary as you can really do it either way you have an option with the fullback too but i'll show that in a minute as i just want to show this particular route first as you can see it's a very easy one play touchdown as he splits the safeties once again down the middle you could also add the fullback on a wheel route and he'll typically get open as well the same way as you can see the defender in coverage really just um you know gets ping ponged around by his own defensive players so that was pretty much a one play touchdown against just about every single defense in the game but the pa deep is as well and in my opinion it's probably the better of the two so let's go and let's pick that We'll start backwards this time we'll start at cover zero and work our way back for cover zero you don't have to do anything the b route is going to be the play this time and i find that it's a much better route against pretty much everything it's going to get open very easily against cover zero like it did here as this route is really a better man beater all around i'll also pick cover one hole against cover one hole same thing just put the a tight end on a streak and that b receiver is going to get across one more time as like i said before this is just a better route in general than your typical post route 
Now, the only thing that this really doesn't do well against is cover two man and zone, which is why you need the PH scissors. So let's go and let's pick cover three instead. Against cover three, it's going to work the same way. It's just going to be a much quicker result. I have to be on a hash mark like I am here. And you're going to notice if I streak the tight end and put the X receiver on a comeback route, that the B receiver just gets open much faster and much wider than it does with the post concept. And that's just because it's just a better route. And this is one of the reasons I like this play because this is one of the glitchiest routes in the game. It gets open across defenses like cover three, cover four, and any man coverage instantly for very easy one play touchdowns. So I'm going to end the video there. I showed you guys multiple one play touchdowns against a lot of different defenses. If you guys want to see more from this particular offensive playbook next week, though, I'd like to continue to do stuff out of the Titans. Just make sure to be a subscriber, hit the like button, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.